What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off about last time, this army up here uh, managed to fight off an Iroquois stack and sent them back to their capital. And then I also managed to secure an almost completely undefended um, Boston, which was pretty delicious. So we've started to push down the coast. So I don't plan on conquering all of the Americas. I'd like to knock out the Iroquois and take the British components of it. And then prepare to attack the uh, Cherokee nations just to secure them. Um, but mainly, I don't, I don't. Well, I'm allied with Spain right now, so lots of these territories are off limits for now. Um, this army is going to hip up and take out the Windward Islands, take the Bahamas, and then I'll have a good chunk of the Americas. And this army that's taking the Bahamas, I'll probably ship them all the way up to knock out um, York Factory, the New Northwest Territories, and uh, Moose Factory. And then probably um, the Inuits as well. They will not they will not last. In Europe, things seem to be going okay. Uh, Prussia's knocked out. Everything's happy. I'm, my relations with lots of countries are quite stable. So I'm allied with Austria. So they're not going to declare war on me anytime soon. I've got the Prussians are at peace. And they're compressed quite to a quite small space. So they can't really afford to start much of a war again. And importantly, in the European theatre... I have begun my Middle Eastern campaign. So the idea of this would be, would be to build up this force, push it east and secure Jerusalem and Damascus to get a solid core of Middle Eastern operations. Then send one army east to Mesopotamia. Open up... Well, I don't think I, don't think I can open up trade with Persia. Unless I already am trading. I'm not trading, but I can't trade anyway. But well, yeah, but maybe open up some sort of land trade route with Persia, if that's possible. And to be honest, once I secure these territories, I don't know, I might send a stack west to knock out Tripoli, and to also start to bottleneck in Genoa, who seem to be doing quite a good job at securing their territories. Maybe send an army to attack Greece? Who knows? And I've still got India, which I'm not involved with, but I want to be. Take Ceylon, secure the British territories. I've got scope to do lots of stuff, basically. <clears throat> um, ooh. I'm, gonna, I'm going to th threaten them. Nope. They hate me, but they hate me anyway. I'm at war. <laughs> yeah, I'm at war. I didn't realise with how many people I was at war. Only 16,000 a turn, which isn't bad. Maine is not happy. Oh, it's because I conquered them. So, if I exempt you from tax, that kind of does it. Yeah, I can replenish one unit of colonial line with my 66 coins. Cool. Yep. Then this army in Boston will secure their position, then advance on, take New York, and then take Philadelphia. Then I'll have quite a nice little bottleneck. Oh, the, the, Mar the Marathas of the Iroquois have traded away Niagara for... A for Swedish territory, so have they traded away something to... What am I doing? That's the one. Sweden hasn't traded anything away, so I wonder how they paid for that. Hmm. Anyway, let's check out, not that, research and tech. Yep. Good amount of research and tech going on. Um, I'd like to expand my navy just a bit. Join stock companies. Good, good, good. All right, let's hit end turn. The main thing I've got to do, I think, is to hit the ground running in Cairo before the Ottomans can mobilise. So if I can secure Jerusalem. I'm fairly sure these territories, even though they're big cities, they are quite destitute, so it's not as though I'm securing a very wealthy position. But yeah, things seem to be going okay. Oh good, the Austrians are pushing on the Prussians. Ah, push them back. Uh, 
There we go. Here, here's the Ottoman. Here's the Ottoman response, which we knew was was going to come. Oh, I thought they were going to pick up a uh, Louisiana stack. Ah, Mughal's stealing my tech. Well, I'm going to use my rake in Paris to try and assassinate them. They've come an awfully long way. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not. So first, let's rebuild these. your army look like? Some good cannons. There are any demi cannons though. Melee infantry, camels. Gotta recruit some 12 pounders. Oh, do I need 12 pounders? Why don't I get two of my own camels? If I move you out. Oh, oh, to the no, no, you really hate that. Let's say preemptively just recruit a handful of colonial line. So I'm going to move out and attack them. Let's make sure everything else is going okay first. Oh, port upgrades, abundant yield gold mine. Yes. An average yield gold mine. Roads. Oh, I, I didn't even give you. I didn't even, didn't even give you good roads. Fix the port. Do as much replenishing as possible. Fleet arrives. Huh. Forgot about these guys completely. Sit them on there for now. I know I'm ultimate. I'm completely disobeying my rule in Mexico, my Mexican let's play, where I said I wanted to uh, be a bit themey with how I did this, and not just have art uh, like ships of the line. But so your Corland is there with nothing. Well, I'll take that one as well then. I suppose <laughs> I'll claim that. Cool, getting in some good amount of ivory, even though ivory is now no longer the cash crop, it's actually more uh, cotton and tobacco and spices. Recruitment Savoy, uh, just a nice little garrison, just in case they try to tr 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 betray me and turn on me. Is that the last of it? Yeah, that is the last of it, good. Workers are on strike in May, now they're okay. No, keep them exempt from tax. Unit of Marines is trying to be up to no good. There we go. Just make sure I make sure I do actually kill them. Cool, cool, cool. Then you are. He's a happiness building, but I'd like. Build a um, build an industrial building. And then let's oh, sorry, everyone. Hit the microphone. Now you can't replenish. So let's go back to Egypt. So I want to go there and then attack them. So that should bounce them east rather than across this gap and like into the farm because that would be super frustrating. Let's fight. Good, because you are, oh, you are slightly damaged as well. Still, if we can consolidate power in the, um, in Cairo, that can only be good for us. I need to really start to optimize my economy, because right now I've got lots of territory and I'm One set of guns. Let's take you. That 
pikes. Well, put you there. Put the pikes there. Get my foot line of foot regiment. Here's a regiment of foot. It's not a guard unit. And let's put Chevalier on the left. Let's put a gendarmerie on the right. And let's put my general in the middle. So I'm fairly sure this should automatically open up into their artillery. Oh, God, they do. Devastating barrage. There we go. Didn't knock out any gun teams though. Oh. They're counter battering me. Watch well, it spread my pikemen out. So I'm spreading my pikes out there, because I'm assuming if they're aiming for my pikes, then they'll bounce and miss. Whereas if I leave my general there, there's a risk that some of them will get picked off by. Oh man! They're bunching their stuff around their artillery. God, they're sending in oh, wait, who's this? Kurdish Hillman. Ah, I've got my pike selected, that's why it's giving me the melee symbol. Poor Kurdish Hillman. I do have time to reload before the. Uh... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my artillery shooting at the. Uh... Ooh, actually. Get one unit to support these my men against the Janissaries. God, he's just like, these guys are just melee troops. God, it's like a sw Oh god, they're swarming. These pikes, if they got into combat, they'd be devastating. This is what happens when you have a melee focused army trying to f charge a conventional European ranged force. Oh, I suppose I'm okay to not shoot at those giant series. Two units of line infantry to hit them. That should be fine. Oh, these are melee janissaries as well. They aren't like ranged ones. Hmm. Swarms coming in again. Felain and Bashi Bazooks. One unit of musketeers is trying to provide some sort of fire into the battle line, but it's just not happening. Go one unit of artillery's routing. 
See, I'm not being clever with this battle. Not at all. Trouble is, well, I say trouble is, what I want to do with the Ottomans in, th in this position, all they've managed to do is, well, I just want to kill as many of them as possible with losing as few of my men as possible. So I'm not bothered on maximising my. Yeah, I don't, I'm not so bothered about destroying an army completely. I mean, when they break, I will, because I want to chase after them. But. Get you to focus on that unit of camels. graphics is bugging out on those camels if you get into just the right position. They are charging. Now's the time. Uh, keep the canister shot going. Remember the Kurdish hillmen run all the way back here and have a go at as many of them as you can. Just leave these, leave those for my general, and then turn off fire at will. Yeah, turn off fire at will. General's not in difficulties against an artillery unit. <laughs> Waving just under my artillery fire. Now go for them. In the meantime, keep picking off as many of these chaps as you can. Maybe they're going to route. I should get one of you on them. One of you on that unit of pikemen. So yeah, well I'm not so bothered about maximising unit destruction in the game. Um, when it's times like now, it just makes complete sense to do it. Artillery. Halt. He 
It's just an example of when the pathfinding, when trying to destroy a unit, gets a bit wonky because they seem to be more focused on. Well, because the AI is um. Because the actual units ran into two groups. Like instead of running away as one coherent unit, they kind of spread out, which is realistic. Well, more realistic than a bunch of people. Ah, see, but because of it, they are going to escape. So what happens? But then, board the into the Sinai. There we go. Send them up. Move them up. Yeah, that is the Sinai. I think yes. That's the Suez Canal, sort of. <laughs> That's where it kind of goes. Cool, the fleet's arrived. I think got built. Good. Next year, or next turn, I'll have 19,000 coins. 19,000 francs, I should say. Cool. Okay, so let's not do Wedge, because Wedge doesn't... I'm not so bothered about Wedge formation. Go for... Explosive shells. And I've not built a classic university, so I can't build that. Okay, in 10. Ah, the British are falling back. Oh no. What a resolve. Sad face. This is why I require an actual navy to blockade the British fleet and to pillage their territories overseas. I am still keen to maintain the the initial plan of not just knocking Britain out of the game right now. Because someone pointed that out to me really early on. Trade, ooh, suck it, but... I'm not going to give you, Prussia, fire by rank. Because you're already doing quite well against everyone without it. Well, I'll say quite well. They've not got much of a much of a territory left. But I sure as hell don't want them expanding into Austria and Poland. That's the last thing I want them to do. Good old Louisiana. Oh. Classic Mughal Empire. That's what the Mughal Empire is well known for in this game. They'll just rock up, dump a stack off your shore, and have at it. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So, select the type of port to construct here. There he is. I missed him one before. A trade port will provide an income. Blam! Oh. Egypt is on strike. As to be expected. Ooh, we're gonna have a new come another go. Another one. You try. God, this guy. Military Academy, yes, because Grenadiers de France, they look pretty good. Okay. So first... Oh, that would have been ripe for a, for a uh, fort battle. To be honest, I should... Ooh. Um, no, that's not big enough. Hmm, I'm going to be selective because I've got lots of money and lots of things that need upgrading, so I need to be picky. So pretty much I can pretty much up. Well, some of the techs I've got, it means I can build anything. But first, let's go to France. Yeah, France is particularly happy. Four turns they'll get Nantes, Nantes, there. 
I'll build a happiness building. Ah, oh, it's because the colleges are already being built. Perfect. So France is earning. It's kind of growing. Well, oh, metal roads for France. That's what's going to happen. Even though it doesn't really help growth so much. Okay, first let's go over to here, I think. Don't upgrade any of this, because they're all going to be ripe for being attacked by the Mughal Empire. So when we fix you... And what's the most profitable crop? Probably tobacco and cotton are the best ones to focus on, if I can. But I don't have got much of that. Abundant yield fur trap is a good idea, though. Very poor craft workshops. High yield farms. I'll come back to you. High yield trapper. Well, first let's upgrade some ports. So the smiths gets me 600 plus 8. Weaver's cottage gonna be 450 plus 10. Interesting. Let's pick you and pick the farm. Okay, yeah, there you go. You're getting happy again. How you doing, Maine? Nope, not yet. And then let's fix this farm. Cool. Pick, 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 replenish. Good. So let's see if there's anyone. Please use trade agreement and offer you a sextant. Just trying to see if I can make them leave and then get off my territory. Good. Peace with Poland. Russia, request peace. Give the Leeward Islands. No. I want to give you my territory. You can come and take it, the same as everyone else. Religious unrest is still there. But I do have my priest in there, slowly converting. Ah, Cairo is fortified. Excellent. Clone your line, and let's get you know, camels in there. Oh, that's the only thing keeping them happy. Even then, they're not massively happy. Corn has been destroyed by Russia, I presume. Lots of trade reasons. I just need to expand goods, increase output. That's the main thing I need to do. It's going to be a shame to lose that territory for the to the Mughal Empire as temporarily as I'm going to lose it. But say, Livy. See, Poland, we don't need to fight. Yeah, that was going to happen. But if I had walls, that would be perfect. They wouldn't. They would just be trying to run up. But they are. They are ripe. So now, I'll go take the other territory. Um, oh, they're going to knock out that my guy garrisoning the, garrison the port, but that's cool. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become. There you go, good old riot, and they've cheered themselves up. You see riot, and you knacker the buildings that make you happy. Okay, let's get you. Let's get you. 
Upgrade you. Upgrade some roads. Just to get you growing. Yeah, that's my garrison there. Dutch Guiana's been last. I'm not going to spend any money there because no point. Low yield, high yield. So let's do you and your port so you can get that product out. I can do with. Where can I construct? Aha! Is it? Yes, I can construct artillery there. So let's get. The brig Franklin over to Jamaica and recruit some artillery. Oh, there's no mine on that. Ah, damn it, Spain. Cool. Egypt's happy again, kind of. Get to a bit of replenishment mover. Just have a bit of a look. So that's going to be the army that I've just fought, that's retreated. Cool. Workers were right in Egypt. Yep. Yeah, cool. There we go. Bit of growth, bit of sustainment, make sure everything's carrying along just right. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.